Now from the Weather Tracker TV Storm Studios, this is your weather today. Here's Chief Meteorologist William Cole. All right, folks, here we go now on this Thursday. And I tell you what, we've got some really good looking weather on the way over the next couple of days, really heading into the first part of the weekend. But we've got big weather changes on the way. I am tracking our next opportunity of rainstorms, some cooler weather. And then could there be some downright chillier weather on down the road? A lot of new details coming in this morning. Really want to get you caught up now on those details over the next few minutes. But again, this is what we're going to do as we go through the afternoon. And I think you're going to like this. A lot of bright sunshine, very light winds today. And again, temperatures, we'll call them comfortably cool. We'll be struggling to right around 70. But again, for a good part of the afternoon here in the Metroplex, we'll be kind of climbing, if you will, through the 60s. And we're really going to have to climb quite a bit because this is where we started the morning. These were the morning lows around the area, quite a few 40s. So it was a chilly start to the morning. Winter jacket would have felt good for sure. Again, DFW down to 47. Look around North Texas, a lot of 40s. But a few locations like Hillsborough and even out around the Graham area, again, you folks, well, were down in the 30s, again, just a little bit earlier this morning. So radar review locally, we're completely quiet, nothing going on in North Texas. In fact, you really have to expand out the view, look well off to the east, talking about uh, essentially almost the eastern seaboard, an opportunity of rain, some heavier activity. Again, all of that continues to push east away from North Texas. And again, really what you're seeing out to the west that is a sign of things to come. Essentially, that's going to be your Friday, and that's also going to be your Saturday, the first part of your weekend as well. Now, the other piece of this, of course, is the cold front. You can barely see it. You look carefully, that little blue line, it's all the way out uh, in the Gulf of Mexico. That's why it's so hard to see. Obviously, the ocean blue and the cold front blue kind of contrasting there. Um, but again, you can see behind it, not necessarily that we have chillier temperatures, but we do have some cooler temperatures. And again, I can tell you, again, the deeper we go over the next seven to 10 days, there may be an opportunity of some outright chillier temperatures on the way. Again, I'll show you that coming up momentarily. But this is your weekend. And again, can you see this ridging pattern? See how we kind of have this bump in the jet stream? Again, we talk about that a lot through the summer, very quiet weather pattern, uh, but it's going to be short term, right? We're talking about essentially today, tomorrow, Friday, and then even into Saturday. But then we've got a big storm trough developing out here to the west. That's going to be inbound for the weekend and then directly on its heels. You can almost see it, a little frontal boundary up across parts of Canada. That may come scooting southbound. And like I mentioned, by the middle part of next week, again, some folks possibly in North Texas could even be talking about the first freeze of the season. So there goes that ridging pattern. Can you see the bump there in the jet stream flow? So again, that's going to be in and out through the first part of the weekend. And then it's all about this here. Look at that big, deep storm trough. That's going to be very late Sunday, but more so into Monday. But then take a look at this. See how this all essentially morphs into a big, deep storm trough, not necessarily an opportunity of precipitation with that. But again, that's going to allow that chillier air out of Canada to funnel down into the Great Plains. But we do have an opportunity of rain. And this will be, again, very late Sunday, the way it looks into Monday. And again, an opportunity of some locations out there picking up a half an inch to possibly an inch of rain. Again, that forecast, devil in the details on that, we'll continue to kind of refine that over the next couple of days. Otherwise, if you blinked, you missed it, maybe a few clouds around the region. But again, outside of it, this is the modeling. Again, it is going to be completely quiet. And for us here in North Texas, just a lot of bright sunshine over the next couple of days. But again, over the next 14 days, our temperatures locally may begin to trend below normal. 14-day outlook, area of blue, Again, indicating, if you will, pinpointing that opportunity of some below normal temperatures on the way. So today, upper 60s to right around 70. Again, really just a beautiful afternoon. This is also what's going to make it even better. Look at your winds, zero to right around five miles per hour. Winds essentially not a factor as we go through the day. And then even if you are making Thursday evening plans from the 60s into the upper 50s, fair skies, no weather complications overnight. But it will be another chilly start to our Friday. You can see widespread 40s around the area, upper 60s to right around 70 even for tomorrow, Friday as well. Great stretch of weather all the way through Saturday. Here comes that opportunity of rain, again, especially as we get into Monday. Could even be some heavier rain around the area. And then we'll watch for maybe one more opportunity on Wednesday. But again, take a look at those temperatures. That is a downward trend by the middle of next week.